mullet hairstyle. Nope. Seems like there's nothing. How about you use a bobby pin? Oh yeah, I can use a bobby pin. Wait, who said that? Your imaginary friend. Wait, I have an imaginary friend? Uh, you know you can uh, customize your own bobby pin. Wait. I can customize my own bobby pin? Yes! Oh my gosh! Here, I'll show you. Okay. Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but I do not like normal bobby pins. I like them colorful or just pretty. So, the bobby pins I'm making to show you guys today are going to match my nails, which my favorite nail polish color. And all you need, which is really surprising, we're making a little case for them too. If you don't want to have that, then you take off like you only need nail polish and bobby pins. So you're going to need duct tape, any color, a pen, nail polish, and you need clear nail polish too, and bobby pins, of course. So let's go ahead and get on with the video. We are going to make the bobby pin holder. You can completely skip this because this is optional. So um, first what you do is you take duct tape roll and you put it around the top. Now this is just so we can ride on it or you can use normal tape. I'm not sure how good that works though. Um, so then what you do is you write on it with a pen and I recommend a pretty like an artist pen so it will be it'll stay on there longer. Next you need some tape and then pr put the tape over the text. And that's all for the Tic Tac container. So for making the t um bobby pins what you need to do is put them spread out against here and if you have a lot of them don't worry about them overlapping each other. Well they don't they shouldn't be uh, overlapping each other they should be spaced out. And so what you do next is you take the color that you want. I always did it even, but I don't have a, um even number here. I have five, so I would do like three black and two teal, and then I would let it dry. So I painted these over, so I have two teal and three black. So these are dry now. Now I can put the nail polish away, get out my clear nail polish. So you open it and you apply a coat of nail polish. I've done that and now they are drying. So they have dried already. So now I'm going to take them off one by one and put them into my container. So I have um, all of them in, in except from one, which you want to have the little things that I call teeth um, down to the ground. And then sometimes you can shake it, make sure you put your hand over it so it doesn't explode. And it looks like you have more bobby pins than you really do if you shake it around. Is it really that easy? It's easy. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to try this one million times now, and my bobby pins are going to be so good now. I hear ya. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. You too, guys. Bye!